Alright, this is Android with another set sail for fail presentation of awesomeness shoutcast commentary awesomeness kick ass. Yes, I even extended it. Um Yeah yeah it, it gets old after a while because I'm using it previously, but this game is actually being cast after the semifinals, etc. because blah 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 blah. I'm, I'm I'm not even gonna explain it to you because I'm not even sure myself, but whatever. Um it is Feely, the blue protos in the bottom right corner of the map. Yes, I, I say the right corner, it's not even almost right corner, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, hate me all you want, I don't care. I'm gonna say the right corner. And Blanis is up in the right corner as... Up in also the right corner. Right corner over here? Right corner over here. Blanis is the red Terran player, and they're both just building SVs. Actually, uh, Feely is not really building a lot of SVs right now, which is uh, unfortunate because they're very good at mining. Um, this probe is just moving awesomely towards Blanis's base and trying to ra basically rally point Q so sorry Q a rally point right inside his enemies her enemies sorry uh, command center I might say he though because Philly kinda looks like a man no offense Philly um, Philly is trying to just pound this SUV to death, but it's not working out so well. Uh, he says she's escaping now, trying to regen shield, which of course is pretty standard. She turns back now with like 12 hit points, realizes that, oh shit, maybe I didn't regen shield enough, and tries to run away again. She's probably gonna be able to kill that SUV though, unless Blanis pulls that one back. Blanis is getting no early gas whatsoever, but rather a second supply depot after, right after the first barracks is coming up. We can see a standard supply depot barrack build. Actually, it's not even possible to do a barrack supply depot build anymore because uh, that has been removed with this last patch. Protoss Vterran is pretty much the same though, so uh, hopefully, we'll see an, an awesome regular standard macro game going on here. Um, Felix got a gateway up later than his opponent had a. Sorry, her opponent had a barracks up. Feely's making a proxy pylon, that's pretty neat. She's probably gonna be able to morph in a lot of stuff here. Uh, so we might see a 4 gate coming up from Feely. Mm, but she's not she's not actually seizing the, ga the gas mining though, so we're, we're probably not gonna see a Korean 4 gate. This proxy pylon is probably just for future use, and I, I suspect Feely knows that it might go down, and I don't think that would affect her strategy that much as the pylon is just outside that okay. refinery site range. At any rate, the probe goes down. Uh, Feely got that neat proxy pile up though, which is pretty awesome. So she's probably gonna be warping in a lot of units there later on. Warp gate tech is probably going to start in a moment, and there we go. And of course, chrono boost. Good old chrono boost. Ah, love to chrono boost the warp gate. Uh, she's only mining from one assimilator, pretty standard for Protoss against Terran. Uh, depending on if you want to get a lot of sentries or not. If you do, of course, you should be mining from two assimilators since they are very gas heavy. Uh, her opponent is mining from two refineries and is getting a factory straight after the barrack build. This, this probably means either Thors or some shenanigans like that, maybe tanks or some kind of cloak banshee rush or yes, banshee push or whatever. Um, one marauder out, another marine coming. Stimpak being researched and warp gates being still being researched by Philly. As we can see, uh, by the way, you're kind of smiling every time you're saying that word. It's like Philly, Philly, happy Philly, yay! So, kind of makes you happy every time you say it. <laughs> uh, I guess Philly might be looking to make a frontal attack here and at the same t same time warping units from the back, that can be very dis destructive. And Blanis is unfortunately, he's kind of spreading his base a lot in order to see eventual proxy pylons, I guess, and just see incoming drops and whatnot, but he's not actually building r right next to this pylon. This is the one position that Blanis have not yet uh, explored, which is very, very fortunate and lucky in every way possible for Feely, of course. We'll see just how much that pylon comes into play um, as Blanis is uh, kind of putting up a bunker. I'm not sure why. I guess he thought that after seeing this, these forces he wanted to put up a bunker. 
uh, which probably means that he's not going to have an, a good army very early but no rather he's going to be getting a medivac and probably th that siege tech uh, now on this map it could be an early tank drop with that medivac over here uh, that only works of course if Feely have expanded but what's so awesome with these tank drops is that if you drop it here it will be able to shoot at the gold expansion and if you don't drop it there but rather drop it here it will be able to shoot at this expansion so you can actually cover every single expansion on the map except the, and the island ones and the main ones so it's actually six expansions you can't cover and you can actually cover the other six expansions I mean that is just mad so, sorry bases of course um, that that is mad coverage by siege tanks and you can protect your own base and your expo at the same time by your sieging tanks here that is awesome uh, f for the siege tanks of course so it's a really good map to use siege tanks on as we can see Feely is attacking but these marines and marauders just entered the bunker siege tanks not quite down pulling back Feely is losing pretty much all her forces for really no good reason whatsoever she did not even warp in sellouts so it was not a distraction I'm not sure what Feely was doing right there as she pretty much just sacrificed her forces to nothing and she maybe killed a marine or something but you know no big deal and she should be at an um, at a disadvantage right now economically though Feely's ahead uh, in army value she's ki kind of equal yeah it's it's pretty even on the army value side even though Feely lost most of her army in that attack. I don't really know why, I guess Blanis have been mining slightly less the entire game and thus uh, this pretty much evened it all out. Still kind of pointless loss for Feely right there. Uh, this observer is scouting the entire base though and this is nice because Feely is actually rally pointing the observer so that it scouts the entire base. Some people prefer to just hide it at a, a one location so that it will it, it would be very hard to detect if it's standing still, but while it's moving, it's very easy to detect. This pylon is finally discovered, but back to the observer issue. Um, b but, of course, when you move it, you're able to see a lot more stuff. Uh, she can now see the reactors coming up. You don't have to be afraid of banshees. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, basically, that, that's what happens. You don't have to be afraid of banshees or ravens this early on. You know that siege. You already know that the siege tanks can siege now that it's sieging right beneath the observer, of course. As uh, Blanis mistakenly pulls most of his workers off the mineral line for a second there, but no big deal. He's sieging a tank up. I'm not actually sure why he's sieging it up here. He should rather siege it over here or so, but that's not what he did. Um, maybe it's. I, I actually have no idea why. Um, Tessin whispers me cool, which is kind of unfortunate because he whispered me during the last cast as well. Bad Tessin, stop the whispering. If I'm busy and I'm in game, don't whisper me, man. Seriously. Actually, I'm not busy. Whoops, my fault, not Tessin's fault again. Still, uh, if I'm in game, don't whisper me, man. Come on. Um, Blanis is probably going to be making a massive drop here, already loading up stuff in the medivacs. Uh, Philia has a war prism though, it lo she looks to be doing, uh, so, to, it's, it looks like she wants to do the double immortal drop, which is really rare nowadays, it is so expensive to pull off and war prism are so deadly slow and fragile, that it's, it is so easy to lose the immortals and the war prism in just one go. If she manages to time this drop perfectly though, this might just deal extreme damage to Terran. If she moves in right now, she will be able to deal, I mean, com completely, completely ridiculous damage to her opponents. She's not moving in quite yet though, however, Blanis is moving with his medivacs and looks to drop. Uh, since, since he's not going to be dropping here, uh, since there's no expansion here, of course, he's probably going to be dropping over here or over here. Um, we'll see. An expansion is going to be thrown up right after the medivacs fly by uh, if Feely needs to react faster than this come on Feely and Feely finally reacts and moves towards the medvac drop as the siege tank sieges and the, the Terran forces are basically getting surrounded and he has Phoenixes um, I'm not quite sure where they come from 
let's take a look at what Feel is doing though. She's dropping the immortals over here, so a lot of action going on. These, these phoenixes, stalkers, zealots, and sentries pretty much just killed off this entire Tyrant force without any problem whatsoever. And these immortals are pretty much harassing uh, Terran space as well as Feel is warping, uh, warping in a lot of zealots. This seems to be pretty much over at this point. Um, I'm not sure how Blanis is supposed to recover from this, as Feely is also moving in and Blanis GG is out of the game.